Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel on learning English. In my last video, I had discussed the different types of sentences with you and I had also told you that if you have any problems, you are free to share it with me by writing down your problems in the comment box. Since I did not find any question as such, I can safely assume that there was no problem at all. So let's get to work. I had told you that this video will be about the different parts of speech. Beginners of English must be wondering now what is a part of speech? Your answer is parts of speech explain the function performed by a word in a sentence. In a sentence, there are number of words. Each word has a work to do in the sentence and they are classified according to it. And this is what we call parts of speech. Well, how many parts of speech are there? They are eight in number. How many? Eight. Now let's get to see the picture. I have drawn this picture for you so that you can understand it better. Suppose this is a tree, parts of speech. From it comes eight branches. The first is a noun. Then comes your pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. You must be wondering what are these. So what is a noun? A noun is a naming word. Name of a person, place, thing or abstract things which we can't touch but feel. For example, my name is Ranjana. Ranjana. It denotes a person. It is the name of a person. I live in Kolkata. Kolkata, a place. This pen belongs to me. Pen, a thing. So, person, place, thing. These are what we call nouns. There are many types of nouns. I will deal with them in the next lecture to come. After nouns, what comes are pronouns. What is a pronoun? Well, I'll explain it to you through an example. My neighbor is Amit. Amit reads in class 6. He is a good student. Just see, I repeat it. My neighbor is Amit. Amit reads in class 6. Instead, if I were to say, my neighbor is Amit. He reads in class 6. He is a good student. Now, which one sounds better? Obviously, the second one. Why? Because instead of repeating the word Amit again and again, what did I do? I changed Amit and replaced it with the word he. So, this he is your pronoun. Some common pronouns are I, we, you, he, she, it, they. There are many more. I will deal with them again in a future lecture. This is in brief. Now let's come to the third one. What is the third? The verb. The verb is the most important word in a sentence. Without the verb, there can be no sentence at all. So what is a verb? A verb can state an action which is being done. Not only that, it also states a condition, how a person is. For example, Ram is writing a letter. He writes stories. So writes. 
what does this word denote some action being done mother bakes a cake bakes what is it doing it is denoting an action being done she sings a song sings what is she doing she is singing an action being done so these are our verbs but one more thing like if i were to say she is ill he is honest he was absent is was they don't denote any action but still they are verbs this is a condition or a state verb so for your recapitulation verbs denote an action being done or a state of being got it now let's proceed to the fourth one adjective what is an adjective an adjective is a word which describes a noun or a pronoun we can call it in easier terms a describing word for your example he is an honest man what is the word honest doing here honest is describing the noun man she is a sweet girl he is an intelligent boy sweet honest intelligent what are these three words doing to the nouns they are describing it telling you rather something about the noun and they are our adjectives i gave him five pens she has six pencils five six what are they doing they are also telling you something about the noun pen or pencil so these are all our adjectives yes they are quite a few in number and again as i always tell wait for my further lectures to come and your queries will be solved there as to how many adjectives this is all in brief now let's go to the next one adverb doesn't the name adverb suggest something yes adds meaning to a verb adverbs modify a verb but no not only this it has two more functions to perform what is it an adverb modifies or in a way we can say describes a verb an adjective or another adverb as i always say for my examples she sings sweetly sings how sweetly so what does the word sweetly do it is telling you about the noun about the verb sings as such sweetly is an adverb if i were to say he is a very diligent boy diligent is an adjective describing the noun boy but what is very doing here very is telling you to what extent this boy is diligent so very describes or tells you more about his diligence describing the adjective telling you something more about it so here it is modifying an adjective if i were to say he talks very loudly what does he do talks loudly so loudly is an adverb how loudly very loudly so very here is describing or modifying another adverb loudly so as i said three functions performed by the adverb modifying a verb modifying an adjective modifying another adverb now let's come to our preposition what is a preposition preposition is a word used before a noun or a pronoun to explain its relation or to show its relation to some other word in a sentence like he lives in kolkata kolkata is a noun and this word in 
it is trying to establish a link between lives and kolkata so in is your preposition she sat at her desk and wrote her exam at i live at baguiyatti in kolkata so small places we use at big places we use in so these are our prepositions some of the common prepositions at in on from above below under so these are our common prepositions and there are many more of course and now let's go to the next one next part of speech are conjunction joining word conjunction can join two words conjunction can join two clauses it can join two sentences rather like if i were to say take out your paper and copy and start writing paper and copy two words paper copy and being joined with and so and is the conjunction joining the two words paper and copy paper pen and copy rather sorry and uh, suppose he is poor he is honest he is poor but he is honest so what am i doing with the word but i'm joining the two clauses he is poor he is honest and what am i doing two sentences i'm joining them with the help of but Prep, uh, conjunctions can be also many in number and but so either or neither nor both and and so on and so forth and now we come to the last stage of our journey interjection it's an easy one interjection expresses your sudden emotions or feelings like alas hurra alas is an exclamation of sadness alas exclamation mark we lost the match hurra i have stood first in class hurra exclamation of happiness wow what a wonderful picture wow alas hurra what are they doing they are expressing some sudden emotion so and now we come to the end of our parts of speech so once again noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction and interjection they all together make our parts of speech and thank you for listening to me patiently if you have liked my video do press the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed up till now